Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Thanks for joining me today for the CCNA 5-Minute Video Boot Camp 2020, a CDP oddity. CDP, the Cisco Discovery Protocol, is one of the least complicated protocols you're going to work with, but really it's vital for us as far as troubleshooting goes. And I want to share some tips with you on that today. And also, even if you think you know everything about CDP, there's one odd behavior I want to share with you that I recently tweeted about, and I got a lot of feedback from people saying, you know, hey, I didn't know that. But if you don't know what CDP is, I'm going to fill you in here in about 15 seconds. Cisco Discovery Protocol, it is a Cisco proprietary protocol that you will use the word Cisco to describe until you get tired of the word Cisco. But in all seriousness, it is a Cisco proprietary protocol that you run on Cisco devices. And what do you get with it? Information about directly connected Cisco devices. It's got to be directly connected and it's got to be a Cisco device. So let me show you this lab I was setting up for our CCNA video bootcamp. And I just wanted to check my connections. And what I did, we're on switch three right now, and I'll bring the rack up here and show you the fundamental command for it is show CDP neighbor. And I love this command. And you can use this in production networks too, because like I said, the network diagram that you're given, uh, you know, isn't always right. And it doesn't hurt to check your, uh, ch double check those connections that you're being told are present. So what I love about this gives you your host name on the left side under device ID. And this is the best part. It's going to show you the local interface involved in the direct connection and the remote interface. The remote interface is listed under port ID. And we've got a hold time here. If this goes under 120 seconds by default, you're in a little bit of trouble because CDP will go up. The hold time is 180 seconds. The refresh time is 60 seconds. So you shouldn't see that dip below 120. So we've got our capability and our platform there. You can even see what the hardware platform is, which is nice. But there's one piece of important information here you might need in addition to what the, local, the direct connections are and what ports are involved, and that's the IP address. So if we want that, we need to go into a little more detail. And even if you don't have an IP address on the device, that will be indicated because here I ran show CDP neighbor detail. There's the device ID for the first device because it's going to give it to you for every neighbor, all of this information. And when there's nothing next to the entry addresses, that means there's no IP address on that device. So I haven't even put a management address on that particular switch. So that's something I might want to go ahead and do. And we go down here. It's going to show you any VTP management domain that it's in. That can be helpful, what the native VLAN is, what the, full, what the uh, duplex setting is. And as we go down, we'll see the same information, much the same information for the next device, which is host one. That's the only other device. And you can see there's the IP address that's been configured on that device, 10.1.1.1. So two really good commands to know for your exam and for your lab work as well. Now, let's say that, uh, you know, I've named, and the reason we see a host one, by the way, is that's actually a Cisco router masquerading as a host with its name. So let's say that now I want to go ahead and change that to router one. And I'm just going to go ahead and hop on over. Use the host name command. I'm just going to call it R1. And let's hop back to switch three. And I don't see anything yet. So let's see if it takes a little while to cook, so to speak. We'll hang up for a few seconds. And there we go, but wait a minute. There's our router one entry. We expect that. Uh, why do we have three entries now? We just had two, now we have three. And two of them, are on off the same interface. So this will really throw you the first time you see it because you think, well, wait a minute, I can't have two devices off directly connected to the same port on a switch. And in this case, what we have is that the host one entry, which was there before, is aging out. It is not going to be thrown out of the table immediately when you rename a device. And the way you can tell is that this whole time is ticking down. 
it's gone below 120 seconds. So that means that we're no longer getting CDP information for that particular entry. And now you can see it's already down to 66. So like I said, the first time I saw that, that threw me. A lot of people didn't realize it, so I wanted to share it. Again, when you rename a device and it's connected up with CDP, don't be surprised you have an extra entry in your table for a little while, which should be down to about 48 seconds. And actually, when it times out, you don't even get a console message. It just actually leaves the table. So that is it for today's CCNA 5-Minute Video Boot Camp. We've got a new command reference series launching today. Hope you'll check that out. And again, I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for watching, and thanks for making my work part of your success story.